Uh, I was born in San Jose, California in 1922. And uh, I did my first weaving uh, in high school. And then uh, I did more when I went to San Jose State University. My um, husband and I came to Hawaii in 1947. When I first came to Hawaii, I was involved more in ceramics. The uh, tapestries didn't start uh, until the 60s. And little by little, I, I just found more customers uh, and uh, did more weaving and then eventually was given the opportunity to do the murals here at the Capitol. I was thrilled, never <laughs> needless to say, and then began to worry about how I was going to actually do it and get the cr crew together. And I had to open a studio it was up on the second floor on Waimanu Street, about a block or so from the Alamana Center. And uh, so uh, that was the place where the work was actually done. To do the tapestries, there were 16 people who worked on, on them. And uh, it included people who had no experience and they learned on the job. Um, several of them were from the university uh, who were art students. She was the first art boss I had and uh, uh, tremendous to be uh, sort of unofficially mentored and in fact she was employing us. We knew nothing, most of us <laughs> knew nothing about this. Uh, so, you know, we learned a lot of the basics. This is a sample card that each of the weavers had. I came across this among, in my collection and it had all of the yarns that were used here in the Senate. So everybody had one of these cards so that they didn't get mixed up as to the colors they were to use. This is an actual sample of the weaving. This is the back size. This is the linen warp that was on the loom. And then the wool was done in a knotted technique on this, uh, on this warp. And this is just exactly what the surface looks like. They're called gorgeous knots, and uh, it's a typical uh, rug kind of a, a technique. It was used in the Middle East and all for many years. This particular technique, it, it's a lot of just, you know, knotting in place. It takes, takes like 20 minutes to do a four foot row. Um, and that was sort of, you know, the pace that, you know, that was the goal and I think six inches a day. I wanted to do something that was abstract and, uh, and all, but first of all, I had to d determine the colors. And so I went for earth colors in the house. And then later when we did the Senate, I chose sea and sky beach colors more. That, was appropriate with the uh, blue carpeting that was in there. I felt that abstract design would be the best. And uh, so I worked on that in that way on, on both of the uh, tapestries. And of course the work was, that was not hung on the wall. It's a mural that was attached to the wall. The wall was a, a, has a double curve, ceiling to floor and side to side. So that was a particular problem that we, we had to face. I had work from an architectural firm and I also had two uh, metal firms, uh, one involving the uh, making of the frames that the weaving were to go on and uh, another one which actually did the installation. So we ended up with, uh, since the weaving was not, it wasn't possible to just make 
a flat rectangle that wasn't going to hang on the wall. So there were actually about 44 different panels and they ranged in size of about uh, in length seven to eight feet and in width about 48 inches each. There were 44 of those and then there was a 45th panel which was a rectangle and went right in the center of the weavings and that was uh, arranged so that the metal frames that, that it was on was simply wrapped as a screen and you, we wrapped the individual parts of the screen so that the sounds would come through. So the, all those me metal frames had the weavings sewn to them and then they were put up on the, uh, on the framework on the wall. The biggest challenge was when the uh, uh, mill that was do, sending us the yarns. I had ordered the yarns of special colors and, and chose the, uh, the type of yarn and all. And they uh, had a fire. So the, the weaving, uh, the yarns for our weaving were uh, held up for quite a while. So we managed to get through that one and uh, that, that was our, our most awful moment. <laughs> I think it was wise to choose the abstract type of thing and let people read what they want to do into it. And they do, and they tell me about it, and I'm always quite amazed. You know, it's interesting. People tell me what they see, and I think it's interesting because I've, I've actually created their interest, and they tell me things that I hadn't even thought of. But no, the dark, warm colors in the, in the uh, and oranges, browns, and things, golds, in, in the house, again, were earth, more earthy colors. And then the, the blues and all in the Senate, more of sky, ocean, sand, the beach. They've also told me that they see uh, the prow of a canoe, things like that. So uh, it's, it's interesting and I'm, uh, it seems to work and they ma it makes people think about what's there. For some people, uh, it isn't necessary to have representation of any specific things, just abstract is enough for them. But a lot of people do like to have, a lot of people really do like to have uh, things that they can recognize. It was astonishing because working, even when the pieces that you're working on are big, you know, four by eight or whatever, you're still only sort of seeing this much at a time because it's you know being rolled up as you work and then so and then you see them when they're being attached to the expanded metal back uh, background or structure but to see the whole thing um, put together and installed it I mean even now I I'm just kind of amazed it's it's so much bigger than than any of us and um, I think it's it's remarkable. It's still remarkable. I, I, I wonder how many people actually realize it is a weaving, you know, because from far away you see it as texture and you see the design. But um, if you know that that's a tapestry uh, it's a, that's weaving, that's, it's even more impressive, I think. Well, it was a very satisfying and relieving uh, sensation. We had such a good time, uh, the group that worked, we had such a wonderful time uh, doing it. And when it came off so well, it was of course a, a big relief too that we had gone through all the, all the problems and managed to, to, to get it done. I had never done anything so big and never did it again and it was an absolute wonderful opportunity for me. And I'm so thrilled that they've held up so well and I think they've got quite a few years ahead of them too.